How is the continuous online monitoring during decontamination conducted? During decontamination, the hydrogen peroxide high concentration sensor is active. But to protect the different systems, we do not allow any further online monitoring system to be active. Instead, the hydrogen peroxide low concentration and picaro measurement are bypassed. Furthermore, we shut down particulate monitoring and the HVAC system including controls like air velocity. As soon as decontamination is completed, the HVAC system is operational again. After short duration time, we activate the hydrogen peroxide low concentration sensor to determine the end of operation phase. Could a company integrate robotic automation with this technology? Of course you can integrate robotic automation with the system. Now, the first clean room that we used for the system is not equipped with a robotic unit. But some of our clean rooms with manual hydrogen peroxide decontamination have robotic automation. Most importantly for the system, there is hydrogen peroxide compatibility with the built-in components. This allows you to avoid corrosion of the robotic unit and outgassing of hydrogen peroxide after decontamination. Are there any special design features in the HVAC system that are important to reduce downtime? Just to be clear, we did not modify the HVAC system itself. However, it is important that you choose an appropriate catalyst and then ensure a compatible implementation within the cleanroom area. This will enable fast hydrogen peroxide degradation. By doing so, the limit of quantification of FATAS established Picaro measurement system is reached after about one and a half hours following decontamination.